good morning my dear friends how are you today uh, in the last class i have discussed the excitation table right uh, that uh, how to draw the excitation table using the characteristic table so for that now i am telling you the d flip flop operation disadvantages first of all what are the disadvantages of the sr flip flop see in this case of sr flip flop what is its disadvantage you can clearly say that if both the inputs of the flip flop are same that means if s is equal to 0 r equal to 0 or s is equal to 1 r is equal to 1 there will be either a no change or invalid condition right so uh, if we avoid these values of inputs they will they will be either only set or reset condition that means 1 0 or 0 1 according to this q will be 1 and if this is 1 this is will be 0 if this s and r inputs are there so how to overcome this drawback that this can be obtained by connecting an inverter what we can do if we have this sr flip flop okay to avoid this condition sr q q bar we apply here clock pulse and here we apply the inverter an inverter between set and reset inputs to produce another type of flip flop which is known as data latch or delay flip flop right so here it is the d input from this d input which is being fed to this s input of the flip flop we have applied an inverter this inverter will give the inverted input to this r input okay if it will be 0 0 will be going to s but 1 will be going to the r flip flop right so this is r or k flip flop okay so this is q and q bar this is q and q bar now uh, this uh, d flip flop this d flip flop is known as data latch it is known as data latch okay it is known as delay flip flop it is known as delay flip flop it is known as d type by stable okay so by connecting the inverter between s and r inputs this s and r inputs become the complements of each other ensuring the two inputs will be never equal to each other right okay so uh, this is the drawback that we mainly face in the case of sr flip flop now what i can do construction of d flip flop using nand gates i can only say that if there are nand gates like one there are four nand gates i am just drawing it okay these are the four nand gates one two three and four okay this is the cross connection is a cross connection okay this is q basic sr latch q q bar and now here what will be happening that here this is the d input and here i can apply here the inverter right i can apply here the inverter when i apply here the inverter and here uh, to the gates 3 and 4 i have commonly applied a clock pulse it is used to trigger the signal okay so here this is clock pulse so this is the s input going to gate 3 and this is the r input going to gate 4 right now what will be the operation of the d flip flop this is the d flip flop diagram okay now what will be the operation what are the operation of d flip flop right see first let d flip flop if it is positive edge trigger if d is equal to 1 then inputs of sr flip flop will be what s is equal to 1 and r equal to 0 right this is a set condition and irrespective of the previous output that means qt or qn equal to 0 or 1 you know that q n plus 1 will be equal to 1 it will be set to 1 when the clock pulse is given what will happen when clock pulse is given output q follows the d input output q follows d input of flip flop so here what will happen the next state will be equal to d q n plus 1 equal to d okay so sr flip flop is the basic building block of d flip flop so if this is the block diagram like s r are the inputs and q q bar here so here this is the inverter right this is the inverter which is being applied to the r input and this is d this is clock pulse right and this is q q bar output so s is equal to 1 it means to store one in the flip flop flip flop mein one aayega and r is made high r is made high to store zero in the flip flop theek hai to truth table d flip flop ki kya hoti hai according to the condition the truth table hogi what will be the truth table of d flip flop it will be right 
clock pulse is high, uh, D and QN plus 1. Okay, these are the, D is the input, clock pulse is used to trigger the signal. Now, see, when clock pulse is high, that means if it is 1, then and D is 0, then output state will be 0. When clock pulse is high again, and if D is 1, then out output will simply follow the D input. That means it will be equal to 1. When clock pulse is 0, when there is no signal being applied to clock pulse, so it will be unused state. Okay, so it will have QN plus 1 will have the memory stored in it. Means whatever the previous value stored here it will be automatically transferred. So QN will be there, means memory is there. Okay, so uh, this is the truth table of the uh, D flip flop, right? Now, uh, if you can say what should be the excitation table, what should be the excitation table of D flip flop, like. Uh, uh, as you can see, we have the truth table as, uh, as 0. So, here the output will be 0. Here it is 1, so output will be 1. This is the truth table, right? Here this is the truth table. Now, in the case of excitation table, what will happen that these are, this is T, this is QN present state and this is QN plus 1 next state, right? So, if, uh, if D is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, right? So, uh, 0, 0, it means no change or simply QN plus 1 will store the value of QN here, okay, 0. Now, 1 is there. If D is 0, again, the uh, QN plus 1 will, output will follow the D input. So, it will be 0 here. When 1 is there, so it will be 1. When again 1 is there, so it will be 1, okay? Now, in, in case of excitation table, if I can say, in case of excitation table, there will be the inputs uh, qn and qn plus 1 and this will be t okay so qn and q, uh, q uh, depending upon the number of the possible output combinations we have to uh, derive the input situations input conditions so if qn qn plus 1 is 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so you can see here 0 0 here it is 0 0 so d will be 0 0 1 when it is 0 1 then d1 d will be 1 when 1 0 is there qn and qn plus 1, 1, 1 and 0, so it will be 0 here, so it will be 0 here, and when 1, 1 is there, when 1, 1 is there, so it will be directly 1 here, so this is the excitation table, right, so you can see here from this graph, so I have clearly tell, told you the D flip flop, now this D flip flop is generally known as the uh, transparent latch, okay, and uh, you can also have some uh, knowledge that if you have a positive trigger D flip flop, like uh, you have a clock pulse, okay, and it is positively triggered, that means this is the clock pulse and it is positively as triggered. The clock pulse is showing high. So just mark the boundaries of around the positive levels of the clock pulse. What will happen here? The input D was what? Here, if it is the input, if it is the input D is already given here like this way here and again here this and this okay so what will be the output here this is cp clock pulse you know that output will follow the what what is the truth table truth table is when d is zero output will be zero when output is one then d will be one uh, when out d is one then qn plus one be one so when the input is zero, uh, zero then output will be zero so here if the clock pulse is high, if the clock pulse is high here, in this case, what is happening here, here, in this point, what I can show here, this is also 1, so this will also going to be 1, okay. Now, this is 0, this is 0, so it will go to 0. Again, what will happen here? See, uh, what it is showing, um, this is the input T. Here it is 1. It is 1, 1. So here this is the output Q. Output Q simply following the D input. So if it is 1, so it is also 1 now here. It will go till one whole cycle. Now when it is 0, when it is 0, so it will be also 0. It will be also 0. And again when it is 1, so it will be 1 here. So this is the output T. This, in this uh, way you can derive the uh, nature of the uh, Output waveform if the D flip flop waveform input waveform is given, right? Okay. 
So D latch has an enable terminal, whereas D flip flop has a clock in it. Latch is a temporary storage device, right? And uh, simply you can say that if you write to, this is the D flip flop and this is Q Q bar. So here it is C P clock pulse and here it is Q Q bar. Okay. So this is the block diagram of D flip flop, right? At other uh, see edge trigger D flip flop only responds to the positive edges of clock pulses. At other instance of time, D flip flop won't respond to the changes in it. Okay, for example, if I show you the truth table of positive edge trigger D flip flop, okay, truth table of positive edge triggered D flip flop, okay, and truth table of negative edge triggered D flip flop here. So, what you can say if these are the inputs, like inputs, and this is the outputs, and these are the state, right? Inputs me kya hai aapka? Okay, here it is. Uh, I can change the waveform. I can change. It is clock. It is D input. Here it is QN plus 1. Here it is complemented state of the output. Okay, these are the inputs. And from here also, what you can do if the negative is triggered in case of negative is triggered also, what you can write it as here, uh, you can say inputs, here it is outputs, okay, and here it is clock, and here it is D, here it is QN plus 1, here it is bar QN plus 1. So here it is again, if I draw the two table, Okay. okay, so what you are going to do is, uh, see, clock, you have to keep the clock low, okay, so if the clock is 0 and the D input is not holding any value, so QN plus 1 will be simply QN, it will store the previous value and QN plus, bar QN plus 1 will be complemented state of the past memory, so state will be no change, right, now, here it is, if it is uh, 1, if because it is what it is telling, it is showing you positive edge trigger, right? So, if it is 1 and again it will not uh, show any value, uh, C, uh, not show any value and here it will be again QN and QN1 because, okay, now uh, what will happen here, you have to give the input. Supposing, again if it is clock pulse is low, it is going to the negative side okay again this d flip flop will not be holding any value because you are not supplying any input to it again it will be having qn and qn bar okay now if you have clock pulse high and this is also high if you supply d input as zero and the qn plus one will also be here it, will, it is simply following the d input of the flip flops so it will be zero and it will be complemented state again if it is one then it is one okay and it will be 0, right? So, no change here. There will be no change. And here it will simply in this Q follows the input. Q follows the input, okay? So, here this is the truth table of the positive edge trigger D flip flop. Here what will happen? The flip flop is disabled. Uh, flip flop is disabled, right? And here it is flip flop responds only to the positive edges. Here flip flop responds only to positive edges now in case of negative edge trigger flip flop will only respond to the negative edges of the clock pulses that means if it is right if it is d flip flop so q q bar and here it will be negative clock pulse will be there so it is the block diagram of negative edge trigger d flip flop now in clock if it is zero so D will not be activated. Again, it will be QN, QN bar. State will be no change. Again, if it is clock is given 1 and is not holding any value. So QN memory, same memory will be passed to the QN plus 1 output. Again, if it is high and if it is not given any value, then again QN, QN bar. So in all the three cases, no change will be given. The pulse is getting lower. If it is given the negative pulse, okay, like here. And you are giving D input as 0. So, Qn plus 1 will be 0, right? And it will be 1, okay? 
and simply if you are giving 1 in that case also the qn plus 1 will simply follow the d input so it is 1 and it will be 0 so q follows the d input q follows d input right so here flip flop means flip flop only responds to the hair flip flop only responds to negative edges of clock pulse right this you have to keep remembering so out of the given conditions what you have to remember that output only follows the d input this you have to follow when clock pulse is there then output q follows the d input of the flip flop q output only follows the d input whatever the d input is there the q output will hold will be holding only that much value okay so this d flip flop what are the applications here applications d flip flop is used as a delay element it is used as a delay element d flip flop is used as a delay element right it is used in the digital latches transparent latch ki tarah use hota okay so till then if you like my channel please like share and subscribe per week per class is there because i have joined the uh, university so i have to take the classes there i don't get any time here at home so i will give one week one lecture okay please cooperate and please like share and subscribe um thank you